Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm showing you how to create this super easy sugar skull sort of Halloween tutorial. I've teamed up with my friends at Technic. They sent me a bunch of face paint, Halloween colors, all their Halloween range. I'll insert a little clip of what their Halloween sort of makeup offers. It's really affordable, it's really great, great quality and I used it to create this full sugar skull, super easy face today. Now I know this is nothing super dramatic, amazing Halloween. This is just something super simple, easy, affordable, last minute. So if you guys want to check out how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Starting off with Technic's white face cream. I added a bit of Duraline to mine just so it was a bit more creamier, but it's pretty good on its own. So as you can see here, I'm just building up that color. This is not the most opaque white, but it really does do the job for how affordable it is. So I'm just packing that on with a flat top kabuki brush. I will have all of the Technic products that I'm using down below. Go check them out, super affordable for Halloween and honestly for this occasion it is perfect. So I'm just continuing to build up that colour. Now picking up their face palette and taking the black shade, I just took a round little beauty blender holder and I used that to carve out my circles for the sugar skull. Honestly, just use something that's round and will go kind of above your eyebrow. This really did help me out to get not a 100% perfect circle, as you can see. I kind of stuffed up a bit, but honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll fix it later. You'll see how I fix it. But yeah, I just used a guide, something circle and round to kind of sort of get the effect. Now, I am no way a professional at Halloween makeup. This was just a super basic, easy, last minute tutorial that you guys can sort of do for Halloween if you need a last minute costume or makeup idea. So yeah, super basic. I'm not a professional. This is just a bit of fun. So as you can see, I shaded a little bit around the eye, just down a tiny bit. Now I'm just going and mapping out the other eye to mimic the same thing. Honestly, I think these tutorials are just so easy to just watch and follow along rather than me trying to explain it. However, I'm trying my best, you guys. So again, I just used a round object to kind of carve out and then again, shading around the edges like the first eye. Now picking up the purple in that face color and I am going to continue to shade the rest of the eye. So whatever gap is left, I'm just filling it in. Super basic, super easy and I'm kind of just meshing the black and the purple together. Honestly, these shades work really well together, buffed in, blended in amazingly together. This is a super great palette for how affordable it is, so I'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out. Now going in with the Technic Black Magic Palette and just taking the black shade and I am going around the edges of where we outlined with black and setting it down with eyeshadow. I will also do the same with purple eyeshadow from that same palette. So honestly, it's super important to powder whatever you put cream down just so it stays in place. So that is what I'm doing. I just took the little foam applicator that came in the palette and honestly that worked great. If you have a lot more time on your hands, obviously you can probably get a much better look than I achieved. But as a busy mum on the go, I don't have much time to perfect sort of Halloween tutorials. So this will probably be my only Halloween tutorial, but I hope you guys appreciate something quick, easy and fun if you are like me and don't have much time to do a super intricate Halloween tutorial. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this super easy, quick Halloween tutorial from me. I'm taking a purple eyeshadow from that same palette we used earlier and again I'm setting down the cream with a powdered eyeshadow and this purple is stunning, super intense, gorgeous and then again I'm still just meshing the two colours together. Now taking the Technic eyeliner pen and I'm just going to start to kind of draw the spider web on the top of my head. Now I did not do this perfectly at all, this whole look is honestly 
not perfect but I'm kind of just going off a sort of a picture and whenever I stuffed up also sorry about the sun going in and out it's just what I was dealing with on this day whenever I was making mistakes I just seemed to smudge it out and it kind of worked for me you probably see in these clips that I'm really struggling but honestly guys I just worked through it I just smudged it out so yeah I'm just continuing to do the cobwebs still Honestly, I am not perfect at this. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. So here is how the cobwebs are turned out after me smudging with black eyeshadow. I don't think it turned out too bad. Like, this is a super rough look. Just taking the foam applicator that comes in the palette, taking this red shade, I'm just swiping in with the foam applicator and then smudging the round bit to create the flower petals. It's super easy. I found this technique works really well and because I'm particularly not great at drawing circles or flower petals, I thought I would just use the shape of the applicator and this worked great for me. So you'll see me just continue to do this. Also, if you hear my daughter in the background, I'm sorry, but she just likes to chat while I'm doing my voiceovers. Now I'm taking the orange shade in the palette and doing the exact same thing but on the opposite eye. I really just wanted to change up the look and not go with the same red shade. So that is why I chose orange. I thought this looked super effective and I really liked how it turned out. Again, just using the same sponge applicator tip and doing the exact same thing as I did with the red petals. So in the next clip that you are about to watch, I have done the nose, but I must have lost the footage for that. It's super basic, but you guys can always find that on other people's tutorials or just go off a base picture. Now taking the eyeliner pen again, and I'm just literally going to draw like some swirls on my face. So I just did two underneath the eye makeup, as you guys can see. Super easy, sorry again about the sun. I know I'm gonna sound really repetitive, but it was playing me on this day. So I decided to go with a love heart on the chin just because it was super easy. And then I kind of just mimicked the top swirls and did that on the bottom. Super basic, I know, but this is a basic tutorial. Now just taking the red from the face palette and I am just going to fill in the little love heart. And I'm also going to use that same shade to use as a lip colour. Then the very last step is drawing the mouth and the teeth. Now this is a lot easier than what I thought it would be. I kind of started off small and then worked my way into bigger teeth. It's honestly super easy just drawing lines and it does look pretty effective. And this, you guys, is the completed basic AF sugar skull look. I really hope you enjoyed. Obviously you can add mascara, lashes, glitter, whatever you guys want. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, check out the Technic Halloween stuff. Link down below and also subscribe while you are here. I love you guys and I will chat to you in my next video.